Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special edition of Let's Try. First off, we're doing Let's Try Dimessia. And happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. This is going to be a short stream. I am RP Jimmy. And we're going to play this game and also talk about St. Patrick's Day songs. Because I'm curious how much I know about St. Patrick's Day songs. Here we go. The Messia. Okay, that sounded a little, uh, whoa! Kind of like the background here. Once again, it's a let's try, so therefore I'm only going to be on for about 20 minutes, maybe a half hour. However, if the case happens that someone new follows me, I will add an additional 10 minutes. How about that? St. Patrick's Day songs. I have it loaded up from howlatthemoon.com. We're going to talk about what they're saying of the top 10 St. Patrick's Day songs. But first, let's start by Messia. Hermes Fortress. Hermes Kingdom, the land of alchemy. I don't feel like reading that. I don't know. I guess I'm lazy. <laughs> Who's this guy? In the beginning, people thought it was just another infection. Oh, oh no, is it, uh... It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrieking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. The various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and ghastly creatures, but their efforts were futile and despair engulfed the entire continent. Hermes' kingdom, founded atop a colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of miraculous alchem al alchemical sus. Okay. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on this alchemy to light the blessed flame. But where there is light, there will always be shadow. Alright, so let's learn this basic controls. Alright, so let's see, move this around. Okay. I'm just trying to pull up the St. Patrick's Day stuff. So let's let's go to the first song real quick. The Kaboomers, I'm a little leprechaun. Parentheses. St. Patrick's Day song. I heard it for the first time getting ready for the stream because I put something on my um, on my Instagram and I was like, oh, what's well, a St. Patrick's Day song? And this one came up. So I listened to it a little bit by default at that time, but that's pretty much it. Okay, basic controls. Put this in. I'm gonna look around. Examine. Ooh, I got a crumpled up piece of paper. Follow the commands and search for the cores. Is that an enemy or a friend? And how do I swing my sword that it looks like I have? Oh, here we go. R1 to perform a saber attack. Use, uh, I was gonna say square, that's a circle to dodge enemy attacks. Saber attacks deal damage to the enemy and leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period if no more damage is inflicted. When the enemy's health uh, and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach the dazed enemy and use R1 to execute them. Okay, um... Sure. That's dodge. R1. Let's 
so far this I don't know if it's just me but this fighting style is already reminding me of Lies of P when I played that demo which by the way I really will I I know that people I think some people did will end up liking that game but uh, I don't I don't know I wanted more from it okay deflect L1 for the enemy attack Oh, come on, deflect. Or you could just die, that's fine. What's this? Administrative order. Due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. All citizens are forbidden from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the knights. Any sightings of plague-like symptoms and mutations must be immediately reported to the knights to be dealt with. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration and purification. Effective date immediately. Alright, let's take some time to go back to St. Patrick's Day stuff. Here are some more songs from the list. The Dropkick Murphys, I'm shipping up to Boston. Don't know that one. Thin Lizzy, Whiskey in a Jar. I think I know that one. And of course, everyone knows this one, but I never associated it with St. Patrick's Day. Guns and Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. I want to hear the Dropkick Murphys one. Let's, let me see if I can... If I'm going to get a thing on my Twitch about this, but we'll find out. Uh, so let me look up. I want to hear a little bit of it. But drop... Drop lock, no, drop kick, Murphy's, what's it called again? Um, I'm shipping up to Boston. Right, so let's wait for this ad to play. I'm, I'm going to listen a little bit because I don't even know if this is going to be caught on the, uh, the stream or not. And then we'll continue to play the game. So let's try and then go back to St. Patrick's Day stuff. Alright, let's see. I've heard this song. I can already tell. And a little bit that I'm hearing. I think, let's, let me make sure. Yep, I've heard this song. Okay. I think I know whiskey in a jar. All right, let's continue onward in this game. This let's try. Lock on. I just gonna use R three to lock on. Oh no! Use a potion. Two potion. The key to plaza. You're the devourer. Wield your claws, and then it went too quick. Claw attack. R2 perform a claw attack. Oh, claw attack. Wait, it didn't even do it. it didn't do. It barely did anything. Claw attack sucks. My sword's doing more than the claw attack. Oh wait, oh no, they take that back. I must have had to hold it down. Oops. This guy's giving me a tough time. Not appreciated at all. 
There we go. Obtaining a plague weapon. Each enemy has a unique plague weapon, and Corvus can reave his reave this for his own use. Hold R2 to fully charge Corvus's claw. Okay. Oh no, I did this already. What's this? Casting a Reeve Plague Weapon. Oh, okay, that's pretty neat. Ew, what is that? Okay. I have no idea. Oh, where'd you come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get to some more um, more St. Patrick's Day stuff. Beacon. Resting at a beacon will save current progress, refill potions, and restore health and energy. Resting at a beacon will also resurrect most enemies. So that's not good. Right, let's activate this beacon. Alright. Time for more St. Patrick's Day stuff. Alright, here we go. Continue on the list of ten here. The Dubliners, the Irish Rover, don't know that one. The Rumjacks, an Irish pub song, don't know that one. U2, Sunday Bloody Sunday, I know that one. And Macklemore, Irish Celebrations, though there's a few I don't know here. Let's start with the Irish Rover, with the Dubliners. Let's see if I actually do know this song. You know, I'm looking at the game and that little... Uh, whatever it is that's next to me, I know it's from the beacon, it looks like me. If I move left, will it turn with me? Let's find out. No. Now, let's see. No, I definitely have not heard this song. Okay, so let's try the, the next one. The Rum Jacks, an Irish pub song. Definitely not, uh, definitely don't know this one. I kind of like this one, though, from the little that I'm hearing. All right. I mean, we got one more Macklemore, which I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I ever thought Macklemore had a, uh, a St. Patrick's Day song. Macklemore Irish Celebration. There it is, popped right up. I guess because it's being looked for right now. What are the other Macklemore song? That I know. He said, or touch these lucky charms. That was a real lyric that just happened. I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, granted, I'm only listening to what, like 10 to 15 seconds of the song? enough of Macklemore. Let's continue on with the game. We have a little bit of time left anyway. And we have two more songs on that list. Feathers, as lethal as iron arrows, pierce their- This goes so fast! Alright, critical attacks. Use L2 to throw a feather and interrupt the enemy attack just before- Okay. Let's use some feathers. Feather. Oh, feather didn't help me there. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
L2, throw a feather. Oh, right before the enemy's critical attack, okay. Oh. Better heal. It doesn't work. And now I'm dead. My memory has been interrupted. Oh no. Take a feather. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm just gonna fight him. I don't get the feather thing. Feather! Dead again. My memory's been interrupted again. And so far, I am not a fan of this game at all. I don't even get the story. Well, okay, so a plague happened, except for... I guess we're assuming everybody's inside their houses. That's why there's only a few people out here. Or they died from the plague. Feather. Feather. I'm gonna be dead again. Because I don't understand the feather concept of things. Feather. Feather. And another death. Should we go back to the St. Patrick's Day stuff? Because this stream's almost over anyway. The, uh, the let's try. Alright, let's see. Final two songs on this list are The Pose, Dirty Old Town. And Flogging Molly, Drunken Lullabies. Now, I feel like I've heard Flogging Molly, Drunken Lullabies before. I definitely have not heard The Pogue, so let's start with that one. Let's see how this one sounds. Dirty All Town. It seems different than the ones I was, I've been listening to. Well, I guess then again, the Macklemore one was definitely different. I mean, like I said, maybe if I listened to some of these songs fully, I'd be like, "Oh, these are so, these are these songs are amazing." But the little I'm hearing, it's like eh, some of them are okay. This one, the little bit I'm hearing, I don't, I don't know if I really like the Pogues. And then let's go to the last one here, which is what is that last one? Ch -ch -ch. Oh, Flogging Molly. Flogging Molly, Drunken Lullabies. And again, I think I've heard this before, but I want to make sure. Flogging Molly, Drunken Lullabies. Yeah, I definitely have heard this. This definitely sounds familiar. It seems pretty good, too. Like, it's, uh... I don't know, I, li I like the way it sounds. Alright, let's end this game, because I am not caring at all about this game. We'll try one more time, and then we'll call it a let's try. You can check out the replay on Official RP Jimmy. You can watch me throw feathers. Feather.
Oh, I almost, I'm almost got him. Thought I almost had him, but now he's making a comeback here. Out of healing items, great, okay. And there is dead again. Or I'm sorry, I'm not dead. My memory was interrupted. I'm gonna go back and see if there's anything else that is of note, and then I'm heading out of here. Once again, official RP Jimmy on YouTube. You're watching this on Twitch. Oh, that's right, they respawn because you go with the stupid thing. The beacon. Can I go in there? Oh, I can, look at that. Paper on the ground one. A deadly science hangs over the streets and the city is completely sealed off. There's no food to be found nor any water. Now I'm going to die. I literally can't get out. Oh wait, nope, here we go. I escaped. Close the door. Boy, I'm so glad that I found that note. Oh, look who can't get in. Look at this. Ha ha ha. Keep trying. I wonder if I could hit them from here. Ooh! You guys can't do anything. I'm just gonna beat you all. Right now. Right here. Oh, I guess they can still hit me. Alright. I thought he just came through the door. There we go. An anonymous soldier's diary. I guess I'll kill you first, though. Before I leave that. Let me read the anonymous soldier's diary now, and then I'm heading out of here. Where is it? There it is. The King's Dagger and the Grey Armor, they are our last hope. They led the survivors and tried to make things right. The infected corpses were burned to purify them of the sickness. Hmm. Cool story. All right, everyone, I'll catch you later. Have a very safe rest of your St. Uh, Patrick's Day, and um, I don't know if I'm going to be on next week. I might not. I don't, I don't really know. I don't think I'll be on during the week. Uh, I was thinking about recording a 99 Years of Billion Road live, but I don't even think that's going to happen, if I'm honest with you. So just stay tuned. V visit That's Podcasting on Instagram, because that's where you can find out when I'm actually going to be on next, or at least when the replay's up. So, all right, everyone. Bye.